So, you want to make videos like Scrubby, Diesel Patches, or Cyrus? If so, then you've come to the right place. The first thing you're gonna need is to put something in the background. As I'm sure you've seen in Scrubby or Diesel Patches videos, Scrubby typically has gameplay of various different games. He typically plays CSGO most of the time. Diesel Patches, he uses his profile picture. So for this, I'm gonna narrow down to three things that you should use for something to put in your background. Number one is gameplay, number two is your profile picture, and number three is a face cam. All right, good job. You've got something to put in the background. Now we need a video to make fun of. It is kind of hard to find some videos on your recommended page, but if you're lucky, you will be blessed with a very, very good video to react to. If you can't seem to find any good videos to react to, then here are two things you can do. You can go onto a big YouTuber's channel or maybe a small YouTube ch YouTuber's channel and steal their idea. Maybe not steal, but find the video that they used and maybe add some other comments to that. And the second way to find a good video to react to is literally just going on BuzzFeed. They're all absolute idiots. Now, once you have some background gameplay or background footage and a video to react to, go ahead and slap open your pirated version of Premiere Pro and get to editing. First, go ahead and find wherever you saved both the background footage and the footage you'll be reacting to and drag that both into Premiere Pro. Something that I probably should have mentioned earlier is that you should record about 20 to 30 minutes of gameplay footage because that will last you up to about two videos and you have to make sure that it is longer than the original video that you'll be reacting to. What you're going to do is you're going to leave the background footage in one single area and do not move it. You don't have to touch it. You don't have to do anything. No, no, I said don't touch it. No, no, it's tempting. Don't do it. Now watch through the video and wherever you want to speak, hit C on your keyboard and cut the point of the footage you're reacting to where you will start talking. To actually be able to say something, you want to hit the little microphone icon in Premiere Pro on, to, on the track wherever you would like to start speaking. Once you hit that, it will give you a 3 second timer counting down and from there you can start speaking. Do this to any point in the clip where you would like to add a comment. Once you've finished that, you are pretty much done. If you want to go from here, then you can just export the video however you want. But if you want to continue and add some more spice to the video, you can add sound effects or memes or whatever you feel really suits your video. Add whatever you want to your preference. If you made a video with a lot of funny stuff and memes and sound effects, then your project is most likely going to look like this. If it didn't, then you messed up. You did everything wrong. I'm sorry, but you did. You have to restart everything now. Actually, you know what? You've done goofed, okay? You just gotta delete your project, alright, and just completely give up. Nope, I'm kidding. Don't worry. Don't give up. I'm sure you did a great job. You are now officially certified for commentary videos. Go out there, have some fun. If you did enjoy this video, if it did help you out, I really hope it did. It took me hours to make, okay? It, it, it honestly took me so long. So if you could at least subscribe, you know, and like, uh, that would just help out so much, you know? At least show some support if you watch to the end, all right? Thank you so much, and uh, yeah, goodbye.